kicked away by Michael Welch. Running into it there was Brendan Maher again, emerging with it eventually as Stephen Malumphy, kicking it into the forwards. Big one in there towards Gavin O'Brien, the 19-year-old. It breaks for Shane Welch, tries the first shot, the umpires look at it, and they go to wave the white flag, the opening point. Just a minute and a half gone, Shane Welch getting his first score. What if it lead? Sending it in there towards Milan, who caught it well. Goes for his second point for Waterford, and they get it. Two chances, two scores. It's gathered beautifully by Porik Mahoney. Took it in his stride, up into the corner towards the youngster. Towards Gavin O'Brien, eventually it's Shane Walsh. Hit away by Conor O'Brien. Corner back for Tipperary, waiting for it here is Philip Mahoney. Back into his brother Porik. And Porik lets it off and puts it over the bar. What a very good start by the Dacia. This time there's pressure on, and this time it's Patrick Bonnermar, the supplier, John O'Brien, the finisher, the opening goal of the game. John O'Brien played in by Patrick Bonnermar, such a good creative centre forward himself, and that's a tremendous finish from a very tight angle. Yeah, great movement away by John O'Brien and Bonner Maher, perfect timing in the pass. And that's what he does, and, you know, Waterford will have to stop him running. And the teams are level. Shane Welch hitting his shot from just outside the 20-metre line. And that's two shots by Shane Welch, and he's got both. Smartly forward, but uh, straight to Tom Stapleton. He's cut out two or three very good balls so far. Daniels tries to take it down, pressurised by John O'Brien. Somehow he holds on to it. Somehow he got the space and the room to strike it over and a goal and a point now for the 30-year-old from Tumi Vara. John Milan, he's got a point so far, dances away from the tackles. They couldn't get near him. He's in form. Here's another man who's always a potential match winner and Paul Mar puts it over the bar from a huge distance out. Oh, four ball, straight to Potty Marr. All the way down as far as John O'Brien, the goal scorer, up ten minutes. Makes a better angle for himself, spun around beautifully, and he's another player in form. O'Mara goes after it with Daniels there. De La Salle player comes back to Bonner Marr, switched across. John O'Brien's lurking with intent. He's a chance. Well saved. Stephen O'Keefe does really well. I think Tipper really their intent on going for goals, they could have maybe four or five more points on the board at this stage. It's taken up by Philip Mahoney to his brother, Porik. And between them, they managed to get it up towards John Mallard. Suddenly he's in the clear. Three men after him, however. And that's a brilliant finish by John Milan. Right now, the ball is in the uh, middle of the Waterford defence. And once again, it's picked up here by Tipperary and a chance for them to put it over and jumping for joy is Shane McGrath. Kevin Moran once again. Putting the head down, setting it out towards Morris Shanahan. Just a few seconds left. Shanahan firing, hitting, striking it over the bar and the teams are level for the fourth time and the Waterford fans are much the happier. Anticipating is John Milan. Made such a good start to the first half. That's a lovely, inviting ball. Malumphy takes a shoulder, and the referee says, play on, and he puts it over the bar. Ma switching it across over there towards Brian O'Mara. Being marked now by Kevin Moran. Moran's on the deck. Ma tries his luck and puts it over, and the teams are level again. Level now for the fifth time. Dropping 20 metres out, missed by a couple of players, picked up here by Owen Kelly, well stopped by O'Keefe, and Kelly gets his first goal chance, and O'Keefe to the rescue. Brilliant work there. Podimar back in here towards Lark Orban, hasn't scored so far, back inside his own 65 metre line. Good running here by John O'Brien, taking it in his stride and sweeping it over the bar in one very, very convincing move, and John O'Brien has now got a goal and three. Mar gets it up towards Larka, what a catch, brilliant 
nicely done by La, getting there ahead of Tony Brown, sending it in. The last one he contributed was a point for John O'Brien. This time it's Owen Kelly, Stephen Daniels, Kelly's there, so too Liam Lawler and Tony Brown, and Brown completes the clearance. Back into open space. Lara's suddenly got a buzz in his... There's a certain buzz about his play. It comes back to Michael Cahill. And Mickey Cahill for 45 metres out, puts it over the bar, and that's his first time ever to score in Championship early, and he's put Tipperary two in front. Stopped here by Michael Brick Walsh. There's a great pace and a great intensity to this match. Good final. Brendan Maher runs into a couple of Waterford players. Well, that was a dive, in my opinion, Derek. Just threw himself onto the ground there and won a free. Lots of animation on the sideline. Owen Kelly has to just compose himself right in the middle of the park. Dropping short. And it's put in the back of the net by Shane Burke. Burke has come off the bench and he has produced what might well be the goal that will turn this around in Tipperary's favour. Keeper came, didn't get it, Burke did. John Milan breaks the stick but gets it into Morris Shanahan. Shanahan just about stays on his feet, finds a man outside him, it's Owen Kelly! And it's stopped by Brendan Commons, Connor O'Brien trying to get it away. In difficulty but manages to do enough to get it out. Paul O'Brien leaving it there for Morris Shanahan. Shanahan trying to go by Paul Curran, making a better angle for himself. And he's put this one over the bar. So it's back to five between them again. Substitute Delamar. Comes back here towards Shane Burke, goal scorer with number two. And that's another one over the bar. And there's the final whistle. The Munster Championship has been retained by Tipperary. Final score, Tipperary 217, Waterford 16 points.